All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the Grand Canal shops here at the Venetian and Palazzo. I'm headed over to the Brera Osteria for a quick lunch with my friend. Gonna go in on some Italian food and happen to have you along with me. Let's head on inside. All right, you guys, so here we are seated at Brera Osteria. This is a very beautiful restaurant here in St. Mark's Square of the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian. Obviously has that really great Greco-Roman vibe. Now, last year I went across the way to the Mercato della Pascheria and that place was pretty good. It's actually interesting that they have two competing Italian restaurants. In fact, I think it's three competing Italian restaurants all in the same vicinity of each other. But the fact that they're all surviving and thriving probably means that they all have something really good to offer. So I'm excited to check out the food here. Let's take a look at the menu. So here we have the menu, starting off with your starters, salads, as well as meatballs, prosciutto and the like. Couple of brunch additions here. Waffles, steak and eggs. A list of pizzas. Oh, that looks pretty good. Pastas and risottos. Nice pasta list here. Obviously a solid Italian restaurant's gonna have good pasta. And then you've got your main courses. This is your lamb chops and steaks. Ooh, a veal parmigiana. That sounds really good. Am I gonna get the veal today? I might be getting the veal. And that's the menu. All right, guys, that's a pretty nice condensed menu. A lot of really good Italian classics there. I'm gonna go in and get our order in and I'll see you in a little bit when our appetizers arrive. Now here you guys, I have my St. Germain Spritzer, a very refreshing drink. Cheers to you. Oh yeah. All right, guys, and now before our appetizer gets here, they did provide us some complimentary bread. This is actually looking really good, served with olive oil and balsamic. Now they did get a little bit of a toast on this. Has a nice little texture to it. Let's go and try the bread straight up. Yeah, that's very nice bread. Definitely has that nice toasty texture to it. But the center is actually very airy. There's an olive oil drizzle on this that gives a little bit of richness already. And there's also the nice flavor of rosemary here that's giving a little bit of that floral note. This is very good bread. Let's go ahead and dip it into this uh, olive oil and balsamic. Let's go and give it a taste. Mm. Yeah, very nice. It's a good quality olive oil. It's very clean tasting. The balsamic is also providing its acidic tartness here. I'm always a big fan of good bread and olive oil. Now you guys, that bread was pretty good, but our squash blossom appetizer just arrived and these are looking so good. Lightly fried, filled with ricotta cheese filling. Smells incredible. Let's go to give it a try. Mm. Oh wow, those are really tasty. Beautiful light fry on that tempura batter. It's not super oily at all. Really great crisp and texture to it. I really like that batter a lot. This tri cheese mix in the center is so rich and really flavorful. It's got the perfect salt content, nice salty flavor there. Now you can't really say that you taste the squash blossom. I think it's more of just the vessel here. But the flavors are very, very good. Now you guys, one of the very cool things about eating here is that St. Mark's Square has live entertainment that comes through from time to time. Check out this singing performance happening both in the square as well as the windows. Very cool. Alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and continue working on our appetizer here and I'll see you in a little bit when our mains show up. Alrighty, you guys, so our entrees just got here. This is looking so good. Now, I got their massive bone-in veal parmesan, and my friend and I also went in on two pizzas today, one with prosciutto and arugula, and one very close to a pepperoni pizza. This is all looking so good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, now the first thing I wanna try is this veal parmesan. I'm loving this bone-in parmesan here. You can see the char marks on the veal. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh, that veal parmesan is very good, you guys. Absolutely loving the crust. It's got a really great crispy texture. The veal is nice and tender, has a really nice delicate flavor as that compared to normal beef. 
and then the richness of the cheese is providing a great saltiness and then alongside with that tomato sauce providing a nice acidic sweetness i gotta tell you this is a very good veal parmesan you guys and alongside that we have the accompanying spaghetti pomodoro nice chunky rustic looking sauce here let's go and give it a try mm. oh that's pretty good i actually really like the cook on the noodles here perfectly al dente really great chew to it now while the sauce does have a nice tomato flavor it's very bright unfortunately for me i think it's a little sweet i would have definitely preferred a little bit of that sweetness to have been cooked down a little bit more but that's it i think that's more of a me thing and not really a sauce thing it's pretty good overall all right next up we're gonna go and try the pizza this one i believe was called the diavolina something very close to a pepperoni pizza now the underside is looking a little light for my taste but let's go in and give it a try Mm. not bad not bad the pepperoni actually has a really nice heat to it it's a spicy type of pepperoni it has a really good flavor i actually really enjoy the sauce on this pizza it's nice and light it really lets a lot of that spicy pepperoni do the talking the cheese definitely provides a little bit of richness i think my biggest complaint is actually a crust i would like it to be a little more charred underneath now when you do kind of get to more of the ends of the pizza where you get this charred crust it's actually really nice that's it i'm actually a huge fan of the spicy pepperoni honestly i would just eat that by the bucket full all right you guys and the last thing to try is this arugula and prosciutto pizza this also comes with a nice dollop of ricotta cheese let's go and give it a taste mm. oh man that's very tasty now what i actually really like about this interpretation of the arugula and prosciutto pizza is that they have nice crumbled italian sausage here it's actually doing the job of what i usually get from the prosciutto in this style of pizza giving a really rich saltiness blends to a really nice herby salty flavor you do still get that good peppery kick from the arugula here and then when you do bite into that ricotta cheese it's such a creamy refreshing texture and flavor and as you can tell the bottom of this pizza a little more cooked than the other one leading to a really great crust texture as well I'm actually really enjoying this pizza. All right, you guys, my friend and I are definitely enjoying our meal today. We're gonna go ahead and continue working on this and I'll see you in a little bit when you check out the dessert menu. All righty, you guys, so the dessert menu is here. Let's go in and take a look. So here is the dessert menu. Nice looking Italian desserts here. You got your standards like tiramisu. Oh, I love a good panna cotta though. I think that's probably what I'm aiming towards. You've got your sorbets and gelatos here, as well as your coffees and post meal dessert drinks. Very nice. Yeah, I definitely think the panna cotta is the way to go for me. Let's go ahead and make that appear right now. And here it is, our dessert is the tapioca panna cotta. Loving the fresh strawberries, as well as this passion fruit sauce on top. Looking so good. Let's go in and give it a try. Mm. Oh yeah, that was very good. The strawberries are nice and fresh, giving a really great sweetness. The passion fruit sauce, so incredibly refreshing. So fruity and so sweet. The panna cotta actually has a really great texture, ultra smooth. And then the tapioca balls themselves provide a little bit of fun. It's a very playful and sweet dessert, you guys. Definitely enjoying this one. All right, you guys, and that does it for our lunch here at Brera Osteria. Now, lunch for me and my friend came out to roughly $216. Not shown in the video today were the multitudes of drinks that we got because we're having a good time on this Sunday afternoon. I actually really enjoyed that veal parmesan and those squash blossoms were really awesome. Now go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great stuff coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day. And I hope you enjoy Vegas with me. Shin. Bye.